I mean, if we really are a better team, we'll find a way to win this game. Uh, we are just not a better team. We are just not a better team. Well, we lost the Lakers. Maybe they'll beat the Thunder for me. Okay, maybe they will beat the Thunder. All right. Well, I couldn't beat the Thunder and the Lakers did, so maybe the Lakers know something I don't. Timberwolves and Pistons, not at all the finals I would have saw coming. Not at all the finals I would have saw coming. Cade Cunningham wins a ring. All right, Cade Cunningham, what kind of team do I need to win? You guys got Pascal Siakam. I should have done that when I had the chance. Oh, the Pacers have Andre Drummond. I should have just kept Andre Drummond. Oh, and the Pacers had Daniel Gafford. I should have just kept Daniel Gafford. All the things I'm learning today. The Celtics have the first pick. Damn. The Spurs have projected pick 2, 8, and 9. The hell? Rockets have two of the picks. Interesting. I still have Jason Kidd. Uh, Jason Kidd, I'd like for you to come back. Joe Mazzula has... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine we go get Joe Mazzula. <laughs> Just be like, Ayo hey, Joe, you really want to be a, the coach of the Dallas Mavericks. He's like, oh, how'd you know? Um, Alright, so this time we're going to actually get to do the draft. I didn't trade my freaking Cavs pick. Oh wait, I did, I guess. I gotta repay, I gotta re-sign Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram is, um, he is one of my good scorers. He didn't shoot well from three, but, hmm. Well, Clint Capella can walk. Bruce Brown can stay. Is it really just a matter of running it back with the team? Or is my team just not good? I haven't really come to that conclusion of how I feel just yet. But, anywho, um... I think I want a guy in this year's draft. I can't trade you. I'm not going to trade Jaden Hardy. I'm not going to trade Beef Stew. I'm not going to trade Bruce Brown. I think these three bench pieces are very good. I think Luca at the one makes sense. The bonus at the four is good. Um, Ingram at the three is good. 18 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists. It wouldn't really make a lot of tr sense for me to trade Sabonis, unless there was a trade that I just genuinely couldn't refuse. Um, we have Derek Lively at the five, so... Yeah, no, there really just isn't many trades I could think of that are worth doing. Hmm, <laughs> Michael Porter Jr. I mean, Mikel Bridges, Mikel Bridges is nice, but... Why am I giving up a first round pick for this? Wendell Carter Jr. <laughs> go get the Aaron Fox. Do we just switch and go get the other guard in a pick? Yeah, you're on a three year deal. I'm gonna have to pay the Aaron Fox big money. Um So hypothetically, if I did take this trade, what would my forward situation look like? I would need another forward again. I'd just be back to needing another power forward. Desmond Bain. Huh. Hmm. Don't hate it, don't love it. I was saying earlier Kawhi Leonard, but this... This wouldn't really make a lot of sense. Oh, uh, Zubac could be my backup center. Wait, I'm taking way more money in this trade than I want. That's because I haven't paid Brandon Ingram yet. That's why it's allowing me to do this trade. I don't want Zach Levine. Yeah, no, there really isn't... This isn't really a trade worth taking. What if I give him a future first? They just won the championship. I gave them Jordan Clarkson and they won a championship. 
Man, I should've just kept Jordan Clarkson. Should've just kept the bucket getter. Larry Markinen. I'm not trading for Jordan Poole. Not with this franchise, at least. James Harden. Hmm. Yeah. No, Sabonis just makes sense to keep. And we're not trading Derek Lively. Sabonis also just makes sense as a center, but... When you got Derek Lively... He's... Hmm. This might seem wild, but what if I traded Derek Lively for something better and then moved Sabonis to the center? I guess that isn't really wild per se, but more so just like what if I did it? I'll trade my future pick and literally whatever the fuck I can to try to get a pick in this year's draft. I don't want to trade you guys, but you're literally the only things I can trade. I just want to get a pick in this year's draft. I don't want to give Vincent. I can get the second round first pick and a second rounder. I can get pick 21 from San Antonio. Yeah. Pick 26 and a future second. Actually, I might just take that. That way I get a second round pick too. I now have a pick in this year's draft. It's now pick 26. I'll just do this just in case there's any trades. So Houston is... Are they trading pick 7? Oh, no. The Nets are. What? Huh. Okay. The Nets are trading pick 6 for Andrew Wiggins and Clay Thompson. And then the Warriors got pick 6. And they had pick 10. Also, Bradley Beal just got traded for pick 10. So Bradley Beal is now a Miami Heat for pick eight of the draft. Very, very interesting. I mean, you do you. I mean, if I if I wasn't what? Demar Derozan. Wait. Demar Derozan back to the Raptors for pick thirteen. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I like that. Pick 16 and Cam for De'Aaron Fox? Pick 16 and Cam Johnson for De'Aaron Fox. Wow. First of all, the Kings have really disassembled their team for real, for real. But the Rockets, the Rockets getting De'Aaron Fox to pair with Jalen Green and saying good. Damn, the Rockets are actually going to give me a challenge in the playoffs now. Because now they have a sick team. Texas is just stealing everybody. Damian Sar, they get Lil Sar. So we could have had pick 21. We'll see who that's going to be. But uh, the Lakers would pick 20. Lakers trade. Wait, the Lakers are trading pick 20 to the... Wait, Gabe Vincent. I'm confused. Who just traded for this pick? To the Warriors. Okay. So they... So it was a Warriors pick. Okay. So the Lakers traded Gabe Vincent in a pick for the pick 20. I'm so confused. I don't even know what I just read anymore. Trades happened. It is what it is. Bryson Tucker had a Duke. Now we have our pick. So what do we get? Do we get a glass cleaner? Do we get a backup center essentially? Um... But well, we're going to lose Capella. We have Beef Stew and Jake Laveria. We technically don't have a backup three. Technically don't have a backup two. So we have a backup one. We don't have a backup two. We technically don't have a backup three. I mean, we do. Just not a, a good backup three. Jake, in theory, could play the backup three. Beef Stew could be backup four. Yeah, I mean, you're a shooter. Not at all a defender. You are indeed a shooter. Um, but you're better. Oof. Yeah, I kind of need a big man. Rocky Zerksky. Rocky it, Rocky Zerksy. I don't. I don't know anything about Rocky Zerksky. That is a cool freaking name. Rocky Zerksky. Seven foot 
Come to the team. I don't even know who you are. Just come to my team anyway. And the Blazers just get picks. Alright, I've seen enough. There was a better big man, and I chose somebody else, but don't worry about it. Oh yeah, Cooper. Are you freaking kidding me? The Thunder get Cooper flagged too? Thunder, can you like, piss off for like a minute? And stop making things obnoxiously difficult? Thank you. 73 overall, 7 foot 3 center. He'll be my backup center, sure. Uh, yes, please come back, Derek Lively. Hey, all of you, please come back. Jalen Brunson's a free agent. I guess he just didn't want to deal with the losing in New York, I guess. Do I have any bird rights to anybody? I do. Good. Uh, I need Clint. I, 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 I don't really need Clint, but I need Brandon Ingram back. So uh, I'm probably going to have to give him a max. And there's really no offers on you. The smart thing to do would be to do like a sign and trade with Clint Capella. He wants a lot of money though. I could bring him back. What I could do is, is I'm already in the negatives anyway. I could bring him back and then trade him at the deadline or something. That is that is an option. I'm going to offer you 24 mil even. At this point, I'm renouncing rights to everybody because I can't bring them back anyway. I only have the bread rights on Brandon Ingram and Clint Capella. Kate Cunningham just won a championship and now he might walk on Detroit. Yeah, that feels like a very Detroit thing to happen. Oh no, the Pistons are going to bring him back. Okay, okay. Are you not... The, the Rockets aren't even offering you a deal? That's wild. No, don't you fucking dare go to the Thunder. Don't you even think about it. Don't you even think about it. I'm being for real. Don't you even think about it. Miles turn on the Hawks would be kind of nice. Um... But anywho, I mean, I know I'm a Pacers fan, but just basketball perspective-wise, that'd be kind of cool. Um, yes, yeah, so we have like $5 million left to use. Well, that's something. Who can we get for $5 mil? I don't know. I kind of want Zersky to play. We got Beef Stew... Would it be weird to play Laveria at the three? Yeah, I mean, it, it would be, because he's not a good defender. I mean, I guess we can try it. It, it, it is weird. It, it's weird. I fully admit that it is weird. Um, What can I get for Derek Lively? Can I get a good two? Can I get a good shooting guard? I can get Kyle Kuzma. I can get... Ooh, actually, that is a, that is, that's a decent two. I, it's, a, it's a shooting too. It's a two-year deal too. Monte Morris and a pick is not it. Mr. Roddy is not it. Do the San Antonio Spurs need another center? I don't think so. The Pistons just won a championship. I'm not against the idea of getting Jaden Ivey. We go get a bucket getter like Jaden Ivey. I don't want Tristan Da Silva. I can live with the idea of getting Jade and Ivy, though. Herb, jo ooh, Herb Jones would be nice. Yeah, Herb Jones would be nice. It's that three great perimeter defender, six seven. Perfect archetype for the kind of team we have. Hmm, Herb Jones is a maybe. No, Noah Clownley? I don't even know who you are, but sure. Anthony Black could be... Anthony Black could be good. He's 6'7". He's a decent defender. He can shoot the three ball. And we get a draft pick. He'll be on a two-year deal. The Anthony Black trade could be nice. Hmm. 
I'm very much debating the Anthony Black trade. Um, because Anthony Black could play multiple positions. I would love Herb Jones, but I can't really afford him. I need to give up eight million more dollars. I can't use you as a signing trade, which sucks. I would have to give up Bruce Brown. Which, I mean, I guess is not the worst trade-off. But I'm guessing they want more than Bruce Brown. I don't even care about Jake. Jake, uh, Jake can go fuck himself. That's a lot to give up for Herb Jones. Derek, La can I obtain picks? I'm going to try to just ask for a lot of picks, even though I know they probably won't say yes. Because I'm going to try to make myself feel like there's a possibility of making this trade. Wow. 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 Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Herb Jones, one, two, three, four, five. Swap one. So Herb Jones and four first round picks for Derek Lively, Jake Laveria, and Ryan Dunn. That, that's a home run for me. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I do not care. So you know what, Clint? You're now my starting center. Clint Capella is my starting center. Rocky Rocky is my backup center. Beef Stew is my backup four for a bonus. Brandon Ingram. Uh, Herbert Jones. Uh, Herb. Yeah, Herb Jones. Herbert. Herbert. Herb is short for Herbert. Herb Jones and Bruce Brown are my twos. And then Luca and Jaden Hardy. And then we can use our mid-level exception to go get a backup three. Don't hit it at all. Also, look at the draft picks that we now have. Look at how beautiful all these picks are. This can help us definitely get another all-star if we have to at some point. I'm trying to win the Mazda Championship. I genuinely am. But the West is extremely competitive. The Let's just take one look at the Thunder right now. Shea damn near averaged 50 points in the first playoff series. They got Chet, they got J-Dubs, Lou Dort, Cooper Flagg, Cason Wallace, Isaiah Joe, the walking bucket that is the sharpshooter, Isaiah Joe. I know, like, this This team's good. This team's really freaking good. The Suns haven't even made it anywhere, and they got Booker and Durant. This team just went to the finals and lost. And they have Gobert and Towns. So, really, our big three is effective. It's just not... Also, what the hell is this? Oh, I'm dumb. I thought Demon Fox got traded to the Rockets. It was the Nets. Oh, okay, hold on. Darren Fox, Cam Thomas, Mikel Bridges, Brooke Lopez at center? Bring him back to the Nets? This is a cool Nets team. I don't think they'll make the championship, but that's a cool Nets team nonetheless. Uh, what did the Bucks give up? For, they got Steven Adams in the trade? Alright, sure. So you're rocking Damian Lillard, Pat Connington, Andre Jackson Jr., Giannis, and Steven Adams. The only thing about that is your shooting guard is an okay shooter. Your small forward is a very inconsistent shooter. Your power forward is a very inconsistent shooter. And your center does not shoot. So you're really asking Damian Lillard to take every shot on that team. If it's not near the basket. Just saying. Anywho. The depth on this team is a little bit better. I'm going to probably... You're a hybrid defender too. And last time I had a hybrid defender, he got pissed off. And I don't play you. But you're good. Wait, do you have a team option? You have a team option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no reason to trade you then. You're a decent player and you have a team option. I have every reason to keep you around. Um, so I should use my mid-level exception on literally whatever small forward I can obtain. Uh, that might have to just be Josh Okogie. Because I don't think he'll take a league minimum. Well, the best thing we can afford right now is 5 mil. So, I mean, <laughs> Earl Jenkins, you're the best we can afford right now. We don't need a power forward, though. I mean, maybe to some degree we do, but... Hmm. I would like Westbrook. Like, I actually would like Westbrook on this team. But I don't have 15 mil, so. Duncan Robinson wouldn't work. 
Malik Beasley would be okay. He's a three level scorer. I need a guy who's like maybe like six five ish though. Six six, six five, six six. Oh, I love Chris Middleton, but he do be injured. He's an eighty seven overall? Huh. Well, the more you know. Tobias Harris wants the thirteen mil isn't even bad. I just don't have thirteen mil as a problem. Hmm. How tall is Malik Beasley? Six five? He's six four. Honestly, I don't even hate the idea of getting Ben. Didn't KCP used to be a Maverick? Or am I just thinking of something else? Yeah, maybe he was not. He he could be a good fit though. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting KCP and making him my three. I'm gonna get KCP and make him my three. That's gonna be my mid-level exception. I mean, he's too good of a fit to not take. Oh, KC, why you gotta be why you gotta be like that, KC? What if I offer you a no trade clause? You'll consider signing with me if I offer you a no trade clause. All right, fair enough. All right, we signed KCP. So hold on. So two plus three is five, plus one is six, plus three is nine, plus two is 11. Tell me we only have 11 guys on our roster? Oh boy, okay. So let's sign a mid-level exception center. So we lost Ijax, let's see where he's going. What team is offering him a contract? Uh, He's just restricted free agent. Um, Jacques Mondale only wants three mil. Maybe he'll consider a minimum with us? No, he's insulted. Why did I feel like he was gonna be insulted? Uh, hmm. Ty Jerome, Raul Neto. Ooh, Victor is willing to take a minimum. Yes, come to me, Victor. All right, so Justice Winslow. I mean, Gary Payton, if you're taking a minimum, you can come here, brother. Tim Hardaway Jr., if you're taking a minimum, you can come here, too. Well, we'll, we'll bring back Tim Hardaway Jr. on a minimum deal. Absolutely. Fine. We'll bring back Maxi Kleba. Alright, that's a team. Okie dokie. Um, so looking at the team now, it's more or less the same, but I think the Herb Jones edition is great, and we also now have a bunch of draft picks, which, uh, if there is an opportunity to trade for another superstar down the road, at least we have that. That was, that was not a luxury we had for majority of the rebuild, so now we have a bunch of draft picks. Now, back when we had the eighth pick, we could have traded for more draft picks, but we didn't, because we sucked. So, Luca, Herb Jones, Ingram, Sabonis, Capella, Beef Stew, Bruce Brown, Jaden Hardy, Victor Oladipo, Tim Hardaway Jr., Oliver, Maxence Prosper, Contavious Codwell Pope, and Rocky. Hmm. Yeah, I need Herbert to play the two. I was considering moving Sabonis to the 5, Brandon Ingram to the 4, Herb Jones to the 3. I was considering doing that. Because if, if I move you to the 5, you're my backup 5. You'd be my starting 4, unless I moved you to the starting 4. You'd be my starting 3. You'd be my starting 2. You'd be my backup 3. You'd be my backup 2. Hmm. Yeah, I want, I want you being the backup three, I think. You're my backup one. 
you're my backup to I love Victor Oladipo, but right now I don't really know what his role on the team is. He's just kind of here right now. Yeah, Gary Payton. The, Gary Payton was probably a dumb pickup on my end. Now that I think about it, I'm starting to think that that was a dumb pickup. But uh, that's okay. I made a mistake. I'll live with it. Uh, Gary Payton. I don't really want you playing the three. You're gonna just be my backup, 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 backup one. In a worst case scenario, we have Victor Oladipo. We have multiple backup twos and threes, multiple backup potential fours, and Rocky's the backup five. We're gonna try to run with this lineup. I I think Rocky should be playing a little bit. We'll run a we'll run a ten man lineup, but we're gonna play Rocky in the lineup. Uh, not, not, uh, not both of these guys at small forward. i give you... Ten. Why is your neck so veiny? Damn! Look how veiny your neck is. Man, this man looks like the incredible fucking Hulk. Give him 12 minutes. If he looks like the Incredible Hulk, he needs to be playing minutes. So bonus, you... Like my starter should be getting way more minutes, actually. Hold on. This, this distribution of minutes is not what I want. Um, hold on. Beef Stew... Beef Stew gets like 20. Bruce Brown gets like 18. Jane Hardy gets like 18. Hmm. You can have 12, you can have 12. Luca can play like 37 minutes a game. You can play like 30. You guys can play like 33 and you can have like an additional minute. Yeah, I like that. Alright, let's see how we do against Victor, game one. Luca, Brandon Ingram, Sabonis. Yep, my big three plays good. Ooh, yo, Zach, yo, Rocky different. Rocky is different, dude. In 18 minutes. 12 points, 4 rebounds. Hey. There you go, Rocky. 12 points on Victor. Beef Stew, 2 for 8. Jane Hardy just doing his Jane Hardy thing. Hmm. I mean, wait, hold on. 12 for 32. Didn't miss too many free throws. Okay. Victor got held to 20 points. I'm going to say held to 20 points. Just because, I mean, I'm sure Victor could do more. Now, Thunder, yeah, Thunder is still kicking our asses. Shea is just Shea. Yeah, Shea is a really hard guy to beat in 2K, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Lamelo Ball puts 28 on us, but, you know, the big guys are doing their thing. Rocky gets 8 points and 2 rebounds. Bruce Brown puts up 11 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Jane Hardy has a much better game this time. Yeah, the big, the big three is doing what they can. I will. I would genuinely consider trading Clint Capella and starting Rocky. The, oh Jesus! What the hell? Jokic, 38, 15, 9, 2, and 5. Yeah, that is a Jokic stat line. But damn. Just, just, just damn. I don't even know what else to say. Just damn. Who was six for 16? Bruce Brown, you took 16 shots. Why? I mean, I love you, but why are you taking 16 shots? Who's injured? Oh, just someone who got G League. Maxi Kleba's playing in the G League? Isn't that what that little demotion sign next to the name means? You're playing in the G League? Aren't you 33? I mean, yeah, you do you, I guess, but whatever. Hmm. No, I'm not trading Bruce Brown. Okay, yeah, we're getting some chemistry. We're only at 76 chem. Did we? <sighs> That's a bit annoying. Well, Kyrie wins the revenge game, I guess. He gets 20 points. Malik Monk drops 25. Keegan Murray is good. And Luka just... He gets help, but... Yeah, I guess our bench just... Did... Yeah, Tim, 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 this was a mistake. Tim, this was a mistake. And KCP's not even shooting. 
Alright, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Something out between Tim Hardaway Jr. and KCP. The backup small forward position right now is a bit of a problem. Actually, no. The only real problem is getting to the playoffs and facing the Thunder. Because we have not had an answer for Shea in any of the playoff runs. We also haven't had a regular season win against Shea since year one. So uh, let that also be a note. That that's why this has been so damn difficult. However, I will say though, this uh, this franchise is whole. No, you are not getting my seven foot amazing center. Yo, Rocky, Rocky's different. All right, we lost three games in a row. Brandon Ingram's out for multiple weeks. Yeah, yeah, that would suck. Why are you fed up? You are starting. You are my starting two. Now you're on the bench for some reason. KCP is cold. Okay, KCP is cold. Can I trade KCP? Not until December 21st. Alright, I will wait approximately one week and then I will trade KCP. We lost to Milwaukee. We beat Miami. Alright, next loss we'll assess. Which we're going to lose to the Thunder. So, yeah, we lost the Thunder on Christmas. Yeah, I can imagine. Alright. Let's see. Herb Jones, why are you so upset? I don't know. Luca, 30 points, about 10 assists. I mean, we gave Luca teammates, and his teammates are teammating. So, bonus is doing nice. Brandon Ingram's doing all right. Eh, Clint Capella could be better, but I mean, eh, what it is. Plus, minus is a 7. So why would I want to get rid of that? Herb Jones is effectively shooting good from the three point line, shooting good from the free throw line. Hmm. Bruce Brown's okay. You are you are straight chicken. Yeah, KCP gonna have to go. I was kind of hoping for good things out of KCP, but he he's gonna have to go. Maybe I want Herb Jones off the bench. Maybe Herb Jones would just be better to have off the bench as a backup three. Because my three position just hasn't existed. So uh, Bruce Brown could be the starting two. Herb Jones could be the, the three off the bench. Beef Stew would be the four. So we have you at the one, you at the three, you at the four. You're going to get traded probably. Victor Oladipo could be the backup two. You're my backup five. Rocky's my backup five. So, I don't entirely want to trade Tim Hardaway Jr., but I'm okay with it if I have to. What can we get for KCP? Yeah, we can get Luke Kennard back. Hmm, maybe. Ooh, Jalen Williams. Now, I'm cool with starting Rocky, so I'm not going to do it. But, that was intriguing. Fresh round picking Amari Bailey. Hamadi Diallo. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to add something to this trade. Hold on. I just brought Tim Hardaway Jr. back. I don't particularly want to trade him. But Maxi Kleba, though, you can, you and your triggered butt can get to stepping. I have to give up a pick in practically every trade I do. Hmm. Peyton Watson could be cool. He can spread the floor and shoot. That's good. He does a little bit of everything. Hmm. Okay, if I get Peyton Watson, he could also he could also play the three. So Tim Hardaway Jr. can move back to the two. I don't need him to play the three though. I also don't need someone to play the four. I also don't really need someone to play the one. So what would Peyton Watson do? He would either just back up Stewart or he would back up Herb Jones. Or I could move Herb Jones back to the two. And I could make Peyton Watson the backup three. That is, that is an option. He is 6'7". 
I mean, I guess he kind of would fit the three position rather decently. I mean, we have multiple first round picks. I'm going to make an attempt to trade for another potential star player. Okay. Now, what are my options here? I'm not going to flip Brandon Ingram. But I might try to flip Capella. Capella. Should I try to flip Bruce Brown? Capella, Bruce Brown, and this draft pick. Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball is cool, but not what I'm looking for. Ooh, Marjan Buchan. Uh, Jalen Duran. That is an upgraded center, but that's not really enough for what I'm trying to do. Fred Van Vliet's cool, but no. Jakopodal as a are technically a better center and a better shooting guard, but no. Jaden Ivey. Hmm. Jaden Ivey's nice. What kind of what kind of stats would we get from Jaden Ivey? Thirteen points per game, five assists. Nah, not the best three point shooting. We can bring Daniel Gafford back, get Nick Claxton, and Cole Anthony. I mean, price-wise, that's fine. It's not the worst. Cole Anthony seems like he's not shooting the three ball very well. The fact that we could just trade two first and go get Desmond Bain's kind of cool. Desmond Bain is another quality scorer, and he can very well play the two. Now, the only problem with this trade is what do we do at center? We do have Rocky, but Rocky's a 73 overall. He shouldn't be our starting center. So if we go all out and go get Desmond Bain, which we can do, Vince Williams Jr. can play a backup three. Herb Jones could play a backup four. Might be asking a little bit much out of Herb Jones, though. Yeah, no, because Herb Jones would move to probably the backup two. Vince Williams could play a backup three. I, I stopped thinking about it, and I just did it. So now we got Desmond Bain. Hmm. We got more 3 and D players. I actually really like Vince Williams Jr. I might have to move him to the 2 though. I mean, you're 6'4". You probably should play the 2 and not the 3. You're a good perimeter defender. I'm moving you to the 2. So Jaden Hardy's the backup 1. Vince Williams Jr. is the backup 2. Herb Jones is the backup 3. We can trade KCP. We can trade KCP and Depot and go get a five. I traded two of my first round picks from the Herb Jones trade for Desmond Bain. So now I just need a center. You know, any center could really do. Ooh, hold on. What if I go back for Derek Lively, though? The Wizards got Jalen Brunson. That's something. Um, no, I kind of want my center back. Eh, Robert Williams could be interesting, though. Get some rebounds, scores inside. He's currently upset with his team. He'll he'll get rebounds. He he will get rebounds. And I kinda need guy who get rebound. So I'm offering KCP. And then I need to make up eight million dollars. Oh damn it. Mm, don't know if I can do that. The, the package I can offer... So first I have to get rid of one guy on my roster so I can take on another contract. Maxi Kleba for a second is ideally the kind of thing I need. Yeah, I think, I think Robert Williams would be the good 
the good fit. So we'll go back to the Blazers. We're going to talk about the availability of Robert Williams again. We're going to offer KCP. We're going to offer this young power forward. Yes, I understand. And then we'll have to take Mr. This dude. Um, do I have anyone else who can play the four? Not really. All right, yeah, Robert Williams is just, he's just too expensive at the moment. Who did I send Derek Lively to again? Hmm. Because I can only afford it. Hmm. You know, Nas Reed. Nas Reed is interesting to me. Nas Reed is very interesting to me. No, but I need a center center, though. I need a cheap center center, too. What the hell is going on with Memphis? Vooch, Jaron Jackson Jr., Clint Capella. Memphis, you wild. Uh, anyway. Onyeka and Kongwu, 15 mil. Yeah, even 15 mil is out of my budget at the moment. 6 mil is not out of my budget, though. And Mark Williams also fits the ideal that I need. He will, he will however, though, be on an expiring contract. And that will suck. I want to see who, who who do they value more. Oh, uh, not Luca. Um, but they're all worth the same stars, so it doesn't matter. Obviously, yes, you value Mark Williams. I understand that. I have draft picks. Uh, Maverick picks. Well, the thing is, is that I also don't have a lot of money. So whatever center I trade for, I need to know that I'm going to keep them long term. So him being on a three-year deal was great, but I can't afford much else. Was that a three-year deal? Yeah, I don't have 31 mil. Definitely don't have 31 mil. Uh, don't have 18. 13's out of our budget. Ijax for 6 mil. Oh, you gave him a you gave him a no trade clause. I forgot. I gave. Mm -hmm, I gave KCP a no trade clause. That means I can't trade him. Shit. Well, tartar sauce. But I can offer them two players to make up the money, so that's good. Which means I'm going to have to offer them Oliver, and I'm going to have to offer um, probably Tim Hardaway Jr., and probably, I don't know, Victor Oladipo. Probably something else. Yeah, I, I, I understand that's not enough. Can I have Dark Lively back? Thank you. You guys were very helpful. I appreciate it. Now I got Derek Lively back. Now Max and Kleba can go to San Antonio. And now I can just pick up a depth player. So Derek Lively and Rocky are my centers. Beat Stu and Sabonis. Brandon Ingram and Herb Jones. Uh, Vince Williams and Desmond Bain. Hardy and Luca. I like that. And then with my last uh, position spot on my team, I can pick up a depth power forward or depth center. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas is in free agency, but he won't take a minimum because he's a giant butthole. So, okay, who will take a minimum, I guess? That's the question. Who fits my system? JT Thor really fits my system. Well, he doesn't want to be here, so who else kind of fits my system that I can actually draft? Or, not draft, but sign, I guess. How come all these free agents won't accept less money? When they're all free agents. Yeah, it's just a thought. 
Like, Ben, Ben, no one was giving you 18. Why won't you just take a contract and play with me? What Kenyon Martin Jr.? Well, damn it. Mo Bamba? Alright, we'll take Mo Bamba. Alright, so Mo Bamba comes to the team now. This could be interesting. I'm not playing you. I've already decided that that's not happening. I'm gonna play Mr. Xerxes. Okay. So this is the new team. We keep getting a new team. We keep hoping to make it farther. And we lost route we lost round one last year. So the whole make it farther thing what wasn't really working out. So let's try it this time. We beat the Clippers. We beat the Lakers. That was something we struggled to do last time. Well, we haven't lost since we made that trade. So how about that? Hey, we gave one to the Kings. We can't give them another. All right. We've, we're on a four-game winning streak since that trade. We're on a five-game winning streak. And fuck you, Phoenix. No Phoenix in four. Um, No, we're not trading for Luke Kennard. Oh, okay. Hey, we beat the Warriors by 50. That might be a sign that we made good moves. Desmond Bain is shooting. Brandon Ingram, Sabonis. Yep. Okay. This this might be the this might be the team. If we could beat the Thunder just once in the regular season, I can believe this is the team. Because we still haven't beaten them once yet. Uh, I'm gonna acknowledge that that is a fact. Okay, we lose the magic. That's fine. It is what it is. Beat the Hawks. No, I'm not trading Derek Lively. I'm good. Thank you. Still no. I had to basically rent Derek Lively to the Pelicans so I could get Herb Jones. But I got my deposit back, so we're all good. I think that was a trade for Keegan Murray, but I didn't take it. So looking at the team right now, seems decent. Yeah, you're pissed off, but you'll be happy later, hopefully. Um, any other trades? None of those are worth it to me. I just got Mo Bamba. Second round pick for... You know, if I could take Jalen Williams, that might help me not lose to the Thunder, potentially. But I also could just be wrong. What if Mo Bamba sauces me? Wait. Yeah, with his A- minus inside defense, you know? And his ability to shoot three ball. What, what if he just... What if he just becomes a problem, you know? It doesn't matter, because I can't trade KCP. Because if I could, I would. I'd be like, ooh, Peyton Pritchard? Sure, sign me up. I thought he had a no trade clause. Well, now I have Peyton Pritchard. You know what? That just means I get to win a championship. Also, I don't even know what the trade I just made was. I got Chuma. Yeah, sure, why not? You know what, screw it. While we're at it, let's just go get Jalen Williams. Because I don't want the Thunder to have him. And he's upset anyway. Okay, I know I just said I would take it, but... I can also maybe get a pick. There are there are trades that get me picks. Well, he's already upset, and he's been here for like a month. So, on that note... Ooh, Jonathan Isaac's only 3 mil. Hmm. I gotta consider my options here because Jonathan Isaac is a good defender. And I might need that. He can shoot the three ball and he's a good defender. Do I want Jonathan Isaac? Or do I want Jalen Williams? Well, Jalen Williams is a higher overall backup center. And... Yeah, if they have, like, no center, then they can't hurt me in the playoffs. Yeah, if they have literally no center, they cannot hurt me in the playoffs, right? Is that a reasonable way of thinking? I think so. Do I want to face Jalen Williams, or do I want to face Mo Bamba? I'll take on Mo Bamba. 
There we go. Problem solved. Peyton Pritchard, you're in my lineup now. As cool as that is, um, I need you to give minutes to my backup center. Vince, Vince, you can play your 16 minutes. You can play all your 16 minutes. Just give Rocky, like, give him, like, some. Yeah, give Rocky, like, 12. There you go. Share the minutes. Oh, 153 on the Pacers. Luca with 33, Sabonis so with 27. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. I, I'm I'm a lot more confident in our ability to compete, especially with the uh, with Chet being injured. I mean, he will be back by the time the playoffs start. But um, uh, hopefully he won't be too difficult to deal with. Lost by 33 to the Jazz. Uh, at this point, I don't think there is any contract extensions I can make, but... Who? Oh, hey, Jalen, you want to stay? Hey, bud. You know, I misjudged you. You could be my backup center then. Even though I have Rocky. Wait, who's my starting center? Oh, yeah, I traded back for Derek Lively. If I didn't trade back for Derek Lively and... What? Eight weeks. Four weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Hmm. All very, very uh, important players, but they all should be back by the time of the playoffs. Wait, one week, two week, three week, four week, five week. Oh, uh, if we don't have Luca by the playoffs, that's gonna become a problem. That's going to become a problem. Not having Luca by the playoffs. Yeah, it's gonna definitely become a problem. I mean, fifty and twenty. We are one of the best teams in the West. We lost by 40. Still? We're still losing by 40? I mean, if we're still losing by 40 to, to Thunder, we're, we're cooked. We're cooked. What the fuck else am I supposed to do? At least we, at, at, at least we beat the Kings by damn near 50. But, um, against the Thunder, yeah, it just, it is what it is, bro. The West is just difficult, man. The hell else am I supposed to tell you? The West is just difficult. Like, we're not even losing to Victor. We're losing to basically just Shea. We still haven't taken a game against them. Also, Tyrese, I love you. One of my top three favorite point guards in the NBA. Uh, wins MVP. Ace Bailey, Rookie of the Year. Josh Hart, Sixth Man of the Year. I respect that. Uh, DPOY to Victor. Marcus Sasser is most improved. That's That's pretty cool. Clutch player, Jaw, nice, and Cleveland, uh, Cleveland's them. Good to know. Can we not face OKZ? We get to have a matchup against the Pelicans. We took Derek Lively and Herb Jones. So we're facing CJ McCollum, VJ Etkum, Jake Laveria at small forward, Zion Williamson, and Alexander Sar. Okay. So we have the advantage at point guard by far. We have the advantage at shooting guard. We have the advantage at small forward. I understand Zion's a higher overall, but I would say it's relatively equal at power forward. And arguably we have the uh, advantage at center, even though Alexander Sarr can shoot and Derek Lively is probably going to get cooked beyond mid-range. Anywhere outside of the paint, he's probably getting cooked. So, I believe... I believe that this is the best opportunity we have. Peyton, look, you cool, you great, you nice, you sweet. But uh, you need to play. We need to let our center play. Why is Desmond Bain not getting more minutes? I understand you're on fire, right? But hear me out. Give an additional minute. To take a few minutes away from Luca. Just a couple. Give another minute to Desmond Bain, and give another minute to these guys off the bench. Let Luca get some rest. Luca's great, but can't rely on him for everything. I'm just glad I haven't had to jump into a game yet, because I suck. I 
All right, so we swept round one. <gasps> I just choked at a surprise, but holy crap. We don't have to face the thunder. Because Anthony Simons. Anthony Simons, game six, just said, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, Shay. Oh, we can beat this. Yo, get to the conference finals. Beat the Nuggets for me, would you? However, Utah actually did beat us a few times. I will say this. Utah did. Really? Okay. I'm understanding why Utah beat us a couple times now. I mean, it's canon in the sense of uh, it's not a Celtics Mavericks rematch, but it is a Jason Tatum Mavericks rematch, so that's cool, I guess. Keontae George, Dennis Schroeder, Kevin Porter Jr. You just have a lot of freaking point guards. Uh, Colin Sexton and Stephen Castle. So yeah, guards for days. Larry Markkinen is your three. Uh, Bruce Sensenbaugh. Tatum is your four. Walker Kessler is not playing, so that's an upside. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, so we have the advantage at point guard. We have the advantage at shooting guard. Technically, we have the advantage at small forward, but that really could go either way. We have the advantage at center, and they they definitely have the advantage at power forward. Okie dokie. Well, Jason Tatum, maybe it's not the Celtics that was the problem. Maybe it's you, because the Celtics didn't even make it to the playoffs now. So, yeah. But if we beat the Jazz, then I can say, no, the Celtics are good, and Tatum was not the factor. Oh my god, we actually compete in the fourth quarter now? I remember the other year when we couldn't compete in the fourth quarter to save our lives? Give more minutes to Peyton Pritchard? You know what? If we go up 3-0, I will start Peyton Pritchard. That's a stupid thing to do, but I don't care. If we go up 3-0, I will start Peyton Pritchard. Game 4. I will let him have his revenge game. Well, time for me to be a man of my word. Oh, Peyton Pritchard. Yeah, I'm doing something stupid real quick, okay? Luca, I'm gonna rest you for a game. Peyton Pritchard, go out there and shine. I'm giving the keys to Peyton Pritchard. Come on, Peyton. Come on, Peyton. Come on, Peyton. 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 Aw. All right, well, I said I'd give him a chance. It, it didn't work. Tatum did drop 40 points, to be fair. Uh, yeah, not having Luka was a problem. Uh, Peyton Pritchard was 4 for 11. Uh, 2 for 9 for 3. Okay, well, it is what it is. So, looking at game 1... Tatum only had 22. Brandon Ingram was actually the highest scorer in game one. Uh, in game two, Sabonis was the highest scorer, so Tatum didn't score as much. Game three, it was Luka. And then game four, it was we didn't have Luka. So going back to this one, hello, Peyton. I'm glad you got your minutes. Glad you had your fun. But I'm going to kind of need Luka back, please, and thank you. Um, yeah, this is this is the better rotation. This is the wins us a championship rotation. Or this is the at least gets us farther rotation. Oh, 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 wait. The less -o? Slightly less -o? Maybe? Maybe? Mm, I'll try it. him against Sabonis. Shot from the wing. It's rebounded by Dallas. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. And so in the game for the Jazz, Jason Tatum is out there with Mo Wagner. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. Then it's Lowry Markkinen. And it's Sexton in at the two. Desmond Bain is a good option in these situations. Way to come through. 
Beat him against Sabonis. Wagner is three nine Sabonis. Another miss by Utah. Trying to shoot himself out of his slump. And it's not going well. Bain against Sexton. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. George has checked in for Dennis Schroeder. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, listen in with Will Hardy and his team. His message was clear. Let's not beat ourselves. We came in here with a plan. We executed. We're right in this thing. Keep doing what you're doing. Kevin? Thank you, David. And Ingram has got the ball here for the Dallas Mavericks. To tie it up. Ooh, offline. And it's Brandon Ingram with the thumb. Well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Blowing a layup is not the ideal way to come back in a game. Oh well. It's a bonus 27, 24 for Luca, 24 for Derek Lively, 23 for Desmond Bain. Yeah, that was a. Brandon Ingram only had 15 points and I missed a layup. So that was a chance for us to close out that game. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Uh, playing Peyton Pritchard was a bad idea. Because now Jason Tatum is unlocking his, his true form of coming back and making us look silly. Okay. Well, we didn't blow the lead. That's what's important. We do have a good chance at making the finals right now. A good chance. Not not. It's not a short, but it's a good chance. Um, same team, except for they have Jared McCain at the two. We did lose to this team earlier in, in the uh, regular season a couple times. We blew them out one game, and they blew us out another game. So anything could happen, really. Give less minutes to Jalen Williams. Give more minutes to Peyton Pritchard. Give less minutes to Luka. Um, you want Herb Jones to only play nine? You want Beef Stew to play 29 minutes? I mean... Sorry, I'm sorry, Peyton Pritchard. I need a backup center. It's the only reason why I'm benching you. Um, sure. Let's give this a shot. Okay. So game one's looking good. Game one's looking really good, actually. Um, I am going to jump in with three minutes left only just to get a few practice shots with some of my players. And uh, I want to try out that rookie center. I'm gonna put in the rookie center. Turner passes to Murray. Bench Jaden Hardy. Off target Vince. From outside. They've shown the power go. inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. On the court for the Nuggets, we've got Christian Brown, Miles Turner out there with Nikola Jokic. Then there's Jamal Murray. Pass to Sabonis. They have Miles Six Turner off the bench. Here's Hardy. Is that Miles Turner? Oh, ripped away. Is that? That is Miles Turner. They have Miles Turner off the bench. That team's ridiculous, going to the line man. For two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points if are coming from here. I blow a 26 point lead, well, the defense looks I'm going to be so mad at myself. The four, and they've continued oh, Vince to is different. This huh. advantage. And there's been another he's, bonus he's not, to what's not. happened with them tonight, and that's the offensive rebounding. They're boxing out. They're getting up extra shots. That could be a difference maker in the result. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Yeah, I think he's letting his emotions get the better of him on that foul. The free throw drops for Williams. That one's no good. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. <laughs> Dallas has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. Right side Ingram pulls up at the elbow, and it's off the back of the rim. No good. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Williams defending. Outside Murray. Oh, Jamal Murray's hurt. 136 left in the fourth quarter. Five on the clock. Jokic with a screen on Williams. Good. 
That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. And they got to be happy with how they are starting off these conference finals. A tone-setting win for the Mavericks. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And so they start the conference finals off on the right foot with an important win. They wanted to set the tone for the rest of the series here tonight. And mission accomplished. They get to move forward with all the momentum on their side. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Luka Doncic. You look forward to playing with someone who doesn't just move the ball, but moves it with a purpose. And the three-pointer goes. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. It's stolen by Ingram. There's 37 seconds left. Why does it feel like the meter moves so slow? It's in the final quarter. Here's Brown. Pass to Murray. And he's going for the lob. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. And here's Ingram from the arc. Again, the miss by Ingram. Gordon outside. Covered by Ingram. Murray with it. The three ball. Doesn't go for him. Let's the three fly. No good. Damn. And so it's the Mavericks taking care of business. Allie, thank you as always. That concludes this broadcast of... Yeah, I was struggling to shoot. Uh, the meter felt like it was going so much slower. And I was holding the button trying to full bar it, and I just couldn't do it. All right, well... Jamal Murray got hurt, so that may or may not benefit us in this series. It depends on how long he's hurt for. Um, yeah, okay. We basically had the lead in, every, lead in every quarter, so... Yeah, we swept. We won. Okay. So Luka's actually only averaging 17 points in the playoffs, but it doesn't really matter because... I mean, we're winning anyway. Christian Braun led their team in scoring, and Miles Turner off the bench... Miles turn off the bench for the Nuggets would be crazy, by the way. But uh, just looking at game one, Brendan Ingram lit us in scoring. Uh, game two was... Wow, Christian Braun's just been scoring every game, I guess. Uh, Desmond Bain, game two. Game three was Miles Turner led them in scoring. Isaiah Stewart led us with 31 points in game three. And then game four, Brandon Ingram. So Luka's doing a lot less scoring, but he is doing a lot of playmaking, getting a lot of rebounds, and still... Doing what Luca does in real life, which is pretty cool. Uh, we get to take on the Raptors. The Raptors have um, John Collins, Miles Bridges, R.J. Barrett, Grady Dick, Scotty Barnes, uh, Gary Trent Jr. Ty is that Ty Jerome? That is Ty Jerome. Ty Jerome, Jakob uh, Podol, uh, O'Shea Abaji, Ron Holland, and oh, Max Strus, my mortal nemesis. I get to face Max Strus in the finals. That's kind of cool. All right, so going into this uh, matchup, what is this? This should be a team that should win the finals. It really should be, but should is not always will. You know what I'm saying? So, Herb, you good? But I gotta give a few more minutes to my boy over here, Luca. I'm gonna take a few minutes away from Luca. Obviously, Luca's 